instructional video is going to help you with section four of lesson A, creating the data table to record your results after your five to seven day frame where you're letting them grow in the dark. So let's start with the end in mind. So brace yourselves. These pictures could be gross to a weak stomach. All right, so this is the potato bacteria lab and this one was exposed to the air. So what would I do with this data? How would I quantify this? Well, I have some ideas. You can count the amount of dark colonies. Just make sure you do the same for each potato. Or like, let's say you get something totally nasty like that. Like that is disgusting. How are you supposed to quantify something like that? Well, just assume that most of that is bacteria. This possibly right here is fungus. Actually, it's most likely fungus, but I'm not 100% positive. So let's pretend that it is. And just this area right here, or we'll say just for ease right here is bacteria. I'd say about 40, 45% is covered in bacteria. So that would be the quantitative data that I would use. So I'm suggesting that you count bacterial colonies if possible. And if that's overwhelming, you could do a percent coverage of your potato in bacteria. So you open up a Google doc, insert table, and I want data for all four potatoes. I want qualitative and quantitative data. So I want to um, have four rows, one for each potato and a title, and then potato uh, qualitative data, quantitative data like that. So right here, I put potato location. Okay, the potato number doesn't matter anymore. The location is what matters. So this will be my control setup. This will be my location A. So let's say it's my, I'm just making this up, kitchen floor, um, fridge, handle, and let's say this could be my sink handle. All right, then here I'm gonna have my quantitative data. So I really can't title this unless I have data. So this would be where I'm just gonna put my quantitative data. I don't want you to write that. I want you to write what you're actually counting. And over here, my qualitative data will be in picture form. So for the picture, like let's say this were my lab, I would just do on my Mac, my command control shift four. And that takes a screenshot without having to save it to your desktop. I use that multiple times every day. I go to my data table and I would put my picture in here. And then for this one, for let's say this were my lab, I would do a percent of potato covered in, in this case, I would put 45%. All right, so you might want to get an opinion from other family members just so it's not used. So you get other subjective ideas on what percent coverage it would be and see if they match yours. They most likely will be within a few percents of your prediction. All right, so that's what you have to do. And then you would upload this uh, to lesson C. But all you have to do right now is just create your location where you're going to put your data. So you don't even need that. Uh, you can keep the word picture there because that's where your picture will go. But until you get your results, you cannot fill in that column.